stat track app. It really breaks down um, uh, some, some statistics in, in ways we haven't seen before in hockey at, at any level, really. And, and some of these teams at the junior hockey level are even picking this up. So we'll talk a little bit. We'll start at the beginning. Um, talk about the origins of stat track and how this came to be. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, so my brother Drake uh, Barahowski played in the NHL for about 14 years. When he began his coaching career, he was looking for a tool that would help him be a better coach from a team perspective, so looking at things holistically, but also from an individual player perspective. So he wanted to know if his players were getting better on various metrics. And what he found was that there weren't any tools out there that were really supporting that for him. So that was the infancy of StatsTrack. And uh, I look after day-to-day -day operations, and he's a hockey brain. And Drake Barahowski, of course, coaching now in the OHL with the Sudbury Wolves. And let's talk a little bit about how this app gets into the hands of teams and how they start to use it. So uh, you start selling this app. Obviously, we've all heard of Corsi, we've heard of Fenwick, but this app is really not about those things per se. It's more about, you said the word holistic there, about holistic stat tracking. Um, when you're, you're giving this to a team for the first time, how do they learn how to use it? And, and is, is, it, is it running the stands? Are the coaches behind the bench? How, how does it all come together? So uh, the tool was developed for what I will say is non-NHL teams okay. um, that aren't resourced as well as NHL teams are. So one person can track all the events that are important to hockey for both teams that mm. are playing in the game. And that is done uh, by a tracker in the stands and uh, they're able to provide reports to the bench uh, throughout the game. All the information is available in real time and then in between periods and, and post game. So let's take a little look at the actual app here. We're going to try and get some shots for you here uh, on, the, on the broadcast. But uh, as you can see, uh, it's, it's very much like you said. We've seen this, these apps before, usually used for scoring, more basic scoring. But this yeah. is really, um, it, it looks simple, but you can do a lot with this. So maybe just give us a little run through of maybe sure. a little bit of the first play of the game sort of thing. Sure. So in order to start uh, stats track going, you obviously have to start with a, a face-off, just like you would in a regular game. Going to do a center ice um, face-off, and the, the numbers circled in white are your centermen. And normally, you'd have a full roster. So you pick the two guys taking the, the face-off. You can either win the draw, lose the draw, win possession or lose possession. So let's say we won the draw, lost possession, and doing it upside down is tough. <laughs> And then once you hit the face-off button, that starts the clock. So you can see the clock moving there. Now once the puck goes into the offensive zone, you tap anywhere there, and you're also keeping track of offensive zone time. So once you click out of that zone, that clock obviously stops. You go into the defensive zone, and the defensive zone clock starts. So at a glance, you can know uh, how much time you're spending in each of the zones. Now when an event happens, and uh, I come from a defenseman uh, player <laughs> background, um, so you have a, a shot from the point, you swipe your finger up, indicate who took the shot and where it went on the goalie. And it's marked it with a gray box because it's an event that happened to your opponent. If you do the same thing in your offensive zone, it's a yellow box because yep. it's an event that happened to you. And the different finger gestures will give you different events. So if you swipe left, it's a turnover. If you swipe right, it's a hit. Um, you can do block shots. You can do penalties. You obviously can do goals and assists and so on. Now, you, there were some areas of the ice lighting up when you were pressing it there. And I know Reno has a bit of a picture here. But you basically divided the icers, ice surface up into different areas. Talk yeah. about how you did that and, and how many there are. So behind the scenes on this rink, uh, we've divided the rink into 17 zones. And they're indicated um, here on this particular report. So any event that you mark will have a zone associated with it. So one of Drake's uh, favorite examples is, I don't care whether we had 50 shots on net, I want to know how many came from the house and the slot, because that's where most of the goals are scored. So in this report, you can uh, tell how many shots are coming from each particular zone and who took those shots. Now, we've all heard about possession and how important that is, especially in the modern game and with a lot of these statistics. I know the second sheet that Reno has over there really, really shows how you can get a detailed breakdown of even just one period of where things happened, where the puck was, when it happened. Just describe, a, this is available to a coach right at the end of a period. Right. So uh, the x-axis represents the length of the period. 
All the blue bars represent times within the period that your team was in the defensive zone, white is times that you were in the neutral zone, and orange are times that you were in the offensive zone. So at a glance, you can know whether your team has had blocks of possession in either of those zones. All the gray events, are gray boxes, represent events that happened to your opponent at the time in the period that they happened. All the yellow boxes represent events that happened to your team at the time that they happened. So um, how coaches use this um, is to get a glance at what their period looked like. Um, an example would be if you see lots of turnovers in the last two minutes of play. You might have off-ice conditioning issues. You might have um, other concerns around that. Um, we have a lot of coaches who look to see if a turnover results in a shot or a goal, as an example. So if two boxes are side by side. And, and those types of information is invaluable as you make in-game decisions and also as you build strategies uh, for the long term. It's a really intuitive format all around. We got one more example of what this app can do. This is sort of a lot of people's favorite. You get the goalie here and we can see where shots end up on net. Right, uh, so and then what the save percentage is. So one of our clients is the Florida Everblades and uh, we mm -hmm. tracked two of their playoff games and they got smoked in the, in the first two games. And what we found was that the goal, goalie was saving, the opponent goalie was saving all the shots that were low, but nothing that was high. But all the shots were being um, directed low. So in addition to a couple of other insights that we were able to provide the Everblades, they won the next two games and StatsTrack takes all the credit. <laughs> absolutely, now the, the, the goaltending coaches, uh, can you, they use this as well? Yeah, Those absolutely. Are examples of that for sure? Yeah, absolutely. And goalies can look to see where the shots um, are uh, coming from, from the opponent team. Right. So you can not only look at your team, but you can also look at the opponent team. Excellent. Well, this is a fantastic app, and it's Thank great you. to have them here at the TEP Showcase. Drake will be here tomorrow, we yes, believe. He's at the NHL Draft tonight. Yes. At and important places, I guess. Um, and he'll be dropping the puck at the prospects game. If, if someone's watching this and wants to, to reach out to you, how can they do that? Uh, they can call me um, at 416-414-7242. That's my direct line. Uh, or you can always go to statstrack.ca. Absolutely. So that's Danielle Barahowski joining us here at the TEP Showcase. And uh, yeah, the StatTrack app, it's uh, the future of hockey statistics at the uh, junior hockey level and even up to the college ranks as well and in the minor pros. So thanks for joining us, Danielle. No problem. Thanks for having me. Uh, best of luck in the rest of the weekend. Thank you. We'll be back with some more here at the TEP Showcase inside Scotiabank Pond in just a few minutes.